Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and we are going to get into the third career mode. Super fun. I think it looks like it's the last tutorial uh, mode that we've got, so let's get to it and see what fun we can have today. So, wow, this looks like a crazy zoo. Panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's newest zoo, built from the ground up, celebrating the panda in all its forms. This park represents a unparalleled opportunity to show the world just how much the Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment. So don't squander it. <laughs> uh, we'll try not to. We'll try. Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> They're my daughter's favorite animal. I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. <laughs> It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> awesome. Amazing. That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. Awesome. It really speaks to our reputation. A reputation that you're going to be in charge of maintaining. Goes. Along with all the uh, general maintaining, too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes okay. of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly, the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome okay. to China. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, that it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that not. later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Okay. Wow, Obviously I haven't heard the thunder. the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. <gasps> oh, yay. Let's go and have a look at it. Can I see a baby panda? On, don't be shy. Okay, where Select is... the panda cub. Hold on, where is it? Oh, there. I was going to say, I thought it was in there, but I didn't see it anywhere. Okay. So, oh my gosh, look at those. Look at the pandas. So, there's also another camera mode, which, if you hit T, um, it just, it slows down the camera, and you can, you, to me, it seems like you have better control over it, but that's, that's just me, maybe. Okay, where's the cub? We want to see the cub. Alright. So, we can also, oh, that's probably over here. So you can also click on the habitat gate and get the animal info from there. Um, I don't see a cub though. Here. Oh, there it is. Yay. Look at the cub. Okay. Click on the cub. And click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. Oh my goodness. So oh, cute. Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? Oh, so cute. So cute. Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailoropoda marinaluca, for being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. Not that surprising, given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Never know. Oh, no. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of disease. Uh-oh. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Hold on, I'm gonna uh, pause it. So yeah, um, unlike the beta, you have to actually get them to quarantine before you uh, actually bring them into your zoo. I cannot click X. There we go. 
So let's Good. click on this guy. Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. I wish you could just like hover over it and do like move to quarantine. That'd be awesome. Call of it. Send animal to storage. Release animal. So yeah, it'd be cool if they would have like a button to just put them into quarantine. Let's see. Where is the quarantine building? Oh, over here. Because especially with the bigger zoos, um, see this is going way too slow. Uh, especially with the bigger zoos, it's kind of hard to keep track of oh, where phew. they are. That's a relief. Okay. Now that we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Well, yeah. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Okay, let's head over there. Alright, so this is a pretty big, it seems like a pretty big building for a vet, but the vets are pretty big, so... In order to build the vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, oh. and then vet surgeries. Okay, let's go ahead and go to that, facilities, staff facilities, nope, staff facilities, there we go. And where's the vet? That one. I went for the biggest one. I figured that was it. Okay. So, let's just hit Z to get it hopefully in the right position. Although, I still think a lot of these aren't really on the grid that well. So, as you can see, it's not, it's still not great as far as positioning goes. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Here we go. That's the job. Okay. Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as well, they're yeah. the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick <laughs> them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Okay. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat quite oh, easily, especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it happens, I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. I've highlighted the good. water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. I love the inside of the vet. It's so cool. They did an awesome job on that. Okay, where is... Oh, it's right here. Okie dokie. So, what do we need to do? Uh, click on the water treatment facility okay. to bring up its information panel. Click. All right. Yes. I don't think you need Let's a degree see. in mechanics oh. to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed. <laughs> click call mechanic to get them to come that, over and fix that it means, for us. But okay. So just to explain, water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources in that they have okay. a radius of influence around them. That means. Any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Yay. Also, like power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Good work. Now that the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> you can also use mechanics to repair power wow, facilities, that's a big area. transport rides, bins, benches, signs, and as you already know, habitat barriers. Okay. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had, so I think we should do some research into it. Doing okay, research okay. into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. Yeah, we should I'd like definitely you to do start that. some research into border telosis. Disease research can be found in vet research. So head over to your research center and get one of the vets researching it. So we'll go ahead and drag this guy over here. Or girl, sorry. Lovely job. <laughs> Once that research Yay. is complete, I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Of course. Well, I hope anyways. Alright, so... Ooh, 
That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got him into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. Thank we you. had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Okay. <laughs> right. Now that we've got all our urgent tasks in hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. Definitely want to do that. You see, you can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, transport rides, as well as new types of barrier and other things via the workshop. I've highlighted the workshop for you, so head over there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. It's okay. So finally assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Uh, where are... Oh, stop clicking on the thing. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's see. Souvenir shops. There we go. All the way down to the bottom. Great stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because okay. we've had some good news. Better than pandas? Wait, what's the news? <laughs> Don't leave us hanging, Nancy. So what's the, what's the good news? It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. <gasps> Yay! The authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed. Well, yeah. So we we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. So open up animal trading and go into the animal reward section. Okay. Just click transfer to animal storage next to each of the pandas and then they'll be sent there. Okie dokie. Finally, uh. we can send them from animal storage to quarantine. Oh. To do that, just select them in animal storage, then click send to zoo, and then click on the quarantine facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. Okay, thanks, Nancy. You always got my back. Isn't that where they just came from? Oh, I guess this was, okay. Never mind. This is where she had us go. Come on. This is where she had us go in the first place. I was just right in front of it. It's fine. Why does it keep saying invalid? Oh my goodness. Go to quarantine. Come on, quarantine. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Jeez. All right. So yeah, that's the thing we're going to have to do now is, uh, ch is make sure the animals go into quarantine before they go into the zoo, which is pretty cool. I mean, you don't want animals just coming in and going straight to habitats with other animals, Again, right? While we wait for them to clear there we quarantine, go. you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. I'll also need you to bring over one of the male pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? No. <laughs> so go on. Move him over and get everything set up for your pandas. Okay, so we've got this one, which already has pandas in it, right? Let's see. Wow, those are noisy things. And then this one is our new one. Okay. Okay. So let's get him moved over. Move him. And uh, let's. Oh, did you hear that? They're calling him to eat. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to move over here. You can eat later. Alright. Probably zoom out a little bit more. But it's okay. So we're going to have to get this guy over here. And then see what we need to do to make it better for him. So. Uh-oh, I thought I had him selected. Move and click. Okay. Set up new habitat. Use filters to make sure the correct items. I know. Okay. So once he gets in here. Uh, it is. Okay. I want to make sure the game is playing. Like I think it is. So we'll let him get in here. 
Uh, we'll just close that for a second. Well, I know, but I just wanted to get the panda. Whatever. It's fine. So we'll go ahead and filter that with species. And let's see. Uh, down. Do I have to use my scroll wheel again? Okay, there we go. Like, I don't want to use this scroll wheel. Okay. Panda. And let's go ahead and get him some food. Uh, we'll just click on food and water. So we'll get him a food thing in here. Uh, where I guess I can see it through the windows here. So we'll leave it there. And then the water should be good because there's water over here. But I'll go ahead and put a water thing here. Just in case. And there we go. Let's see. Alright. Click on click on that guy. Click. Oh, I'm in the camera view. Okay. So, let's see what this guy needs. Definitely needs a coverage. And a terrain. Okay. Let's go to terrain real quick. And let's do... He wants more short grass, less long grass, which is always the case. I really wish they hadn't taken out the option to be able to change the, um, the time of day. Because, you know, as, like, when you're recording for YouTube and stuff, you don't want to have to deal with it being so dark that nobody can see. But, okay, there we go. That's cool. And then, I mean, I like the, I like the change, um, in day, night, you know, but it seems to be night really, really often. So they want temperate Asians. So let's go into nature and we'll go ahead and filter for biome, temperate, continent, nope, not Africa, Asian, if I can click, okay. And there we go. And let me know what you guys would prefer if you guys want me to do this, like, uh, time lapse type thing. Or, um, just in real time. Let me know what you guys want to see. Because, uh, I mean, I kind of like to do everything with you guys. But definitely if you would rather have the more sped up version, let me know. Oops. They don't like that. Okay. Why don't they like that? So just control Z to undo... That really helps. Oh, okay. So it's a different thing in there. Hold on. So let's see. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here, actually. Okay. So the cool thing is they actually added... Um, I'll go ahead and put this down because I think they like this, right? Yeah, they like this. So let's go ahead and put a couple of these down there. We'll kind of... Oops kind of uh, rotate it a little bit. Okay. So the cool thing that they added uh, from the you know, they didn't have it in the beta is when you hover over this, it actually shows you the plants that this guy doesn't like. Let's just go for coverage and see if we can keep this guy happy. Go ahead and get 
our other pandas here. Let's see. And here. Let's see if that's going to work. So pretty. I love it. Obviously, we can do more with the the foliage and everything like that, but this guy seems to be okay. So now we need enrichment. Let's see if we can get these these pandas some enrichment. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for this episode, but, um, I just, oh, I love these guys so much. Um, but yeah, so we will see what we can do to maybe finish this off next time. Um, that's so cool. And, uh, see if we can get on to the next one, which, like I said, won't be a tutorial. Um, it will be just a, you know... Do whatever you can to to get what you need and make animals happy and all that fun stuff. Wow, I was really going. I was like, is this fast forwarded? Because man, it's going fast. But uh, but yeah. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And um, if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I love seeing those and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And um, I think that's it. I don't know. I, there's probably something else, but you guys know. I forget a lot. <laughs> so, um, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the pandas as much as I did because, oh my goodness, they're so cute. They're so cute. Um, so, yeah, I will see you next time. Hopefully, you have a super blessed day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!